Hello, welcome everyone. It's Meredith. I'm here with our daily reading for Monday, the 17th of December, 2018. We are using Sawyer's Path Tarot today. I'm looking forward to this reading. When I got to the end of shuffling cards and letting them fall out to choose us, uh, I was just going to take one from the bottom of the deck, but my guides asked me to take four. So, we have four to start the theme of the day. This should be interesting. I'm excited to see what's here. Um, at the end of this video, I have linked the, the new weekly forecast for you, so that's available. And boy, is that one a whopper. I, the message in that reading day to day just stunned me. <laughs> the continuity of manifestation in that reading is incredible, so check it out. Um, all right, let's get started. Bottom of the deck, first of four cards. Look at this, Ace of Cups. Mm. A blessing, a gift from the universe. And it's in the suit of cups, so it's emotional. It's, it's connection, it's uh, emotional communication, it's love reciprocated. Um, and what a gift that is, huh? All right, I'm not going to go into all of it because I feel that my guides have a bit of a mission with today's message. So uh, I want to see what's here before we go too far. Look at this. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Not only do we have progression, but we have progression in love. Whoa. And for those of you who are not looking at the Two of Cups as a beloved relationship card, but are instead looking at it in terms of collaboration um, on a project or your next adventure. This is connection with helpful people and being connected, um, how do I want to put that? Blessed with a connection that feels unexpected and a gift to you in your process for whatever that process is. That's pretty sweet. Then we have, well that's interesting, the Page of Pentacles. Everything in its own right season. This is perfect timing. I'm listening to my guides here. Pardon my my froggy voice. It's uh it's a little tired. I've been talking too much lately. <laughs> no, I haven't been talking too much. I've just had an opportunity to connect and communicate abundantly lately. Let's put it that way. Um, okay, Page of Pentacles. I'm going to hold off on this one. And then Four of Wands. So I see a gift from the universe, a beloved connection within relationship or connection with your latest adventure that is manifesting in perfect timing in the now and being celebrated passionately on the Four of Wands. This is um, the honeymoon card. So there's, there's joy in this card. There's happiness celebration of all that. Um, so just looking at these four cards, it's the universe saying, here I have a beautiful loving gift for you. It's exactly the thing you've been dreaming and intending for. And it's come to you at just the right time, and most likely when you were about to give up. But it is the truest, deepest celebration of what you hold in your heart space. That's beautiful. Do we even need to do the rest of the reading? And this kind of happened in the weekly forecast. It's like the theme of the week cards said it all. But, you know, the rest of the cards reinforce the message. So let's see how all this miraculous wonder <laughs> connects to the rest of the cards. Ooh. Stay put. <laughs> okay, our first card. The star, faith. We have eight stars there, one major guiding star. So I love that I was just speaking from the cards in terms of the very thing you've been dreaming for, intending for, manifesting, coming uh, at long last or at a time when you had given up 
faith on it. And then we start out with the star card, which is the faith card. I love this card because it's so enduring. And she's nude on the card because she's comfortable with her vulnerability. She's courageous. She's participating in the flow, in universal flow, which I feel is coming off this Ace of Cups, filling the Two of Cups here, and bringing us, you know, a dream come true. Something that is beloved to us, that we hold quite dear. Whatever it is you have been praying for, manifesting for, this is it on the Two of Cups. Ooh, that's so sweet. So keep the faith going. We had a message in the weekly forecast. I know I'm referring to it a lot in this reading, but there was um, a message in there about the infinity loop, keeping that the infinite flow of manifestation going. It's not about, oh, I've received this, so I'm going to stop right here. It's to continue, to keep it going. And that's what she's doing. That's why she's in the water. This is participating in the ongoing gifting. <laughs> this is how you bless your own life, by participating. Being vulnerable, being courageous, keeping the faith, fueling your desires. Talk about fueling desires. Then we have the Ace of Wands. This is a So that's two aces now. Aces also transform challenge cards in the reading. We don't have a single challenge card on the table at this time, or at least turned over at the moment. The Ace of Wands is a very potent energy. Um, there's a lot of fertility and passion on that card. So if fertility and passion are of particular importance to you at this time, use that energy, engage that energy, and apply it where you need to apply it in your life to create your four of wands, which, you know, is the ongoing message of stepping through a gateway across a threshold to a new realm of experience. So this is now the start of week seven of that message coming for us. Um, the ace of wands is also related to uh, good health and well-being. So some of us may be feeling a sense of wholeness where we may have not recently been feeling it, especially with all of the retrograde energies that we've we've come through this year and also the eclipse energies that brought up a lot of emotional growth star card. <laughs> uh, emotional growth opportunities. And it feels as though as we're on the other side of it within this gateway or stepping through that gateway, we're feeling more stable um, my guides want to say vital. We are feeling vital. We're feeling vibrant. Um, we're feeling passionate. And we want to express it. I'm listening to my guides. You know, this card is also about a new beginning in some kind of venture in how you are of service. So this could be a new business opportunity uh, coming for you as well. And then the Two of Cups adds to that beautifully because it is a partnership card. Okay, let's see what comes next. Ten of Cups. Fantastic. This is exactly what is shown over here in the theme of the week. The gift, the dream come true, at just the right moment, and living happily ever after there on that Four of Wands, and here it is in the Ten of Cups. This is fulfillment. It's a cycle of fulfillment on this Ten. It's happiness and joy, living the benefits of love. Happy families, friendships, beloved relationships. Anything that you put your Ace of Wands to <laughs> goes very well next to that ten. Okay. Reversed Three of Swords. Now, most people cringe when they see the uh, Three of Swords, myself included. Um, and Three of Swords reversed is no cause for a sigh of relief. There are some... Not that I'm telling you or giving you bad news here. 
but there are some cards in the reverse that actually get worse, and this is one of them in terms of energy, meaning that just because a card is reversed does not mean that this energy has satisfied itself or worked its way out. In the Three of Swords, there is... Um, There is great opportunity for misunderstanding. And this card seems way out of place in this lineup. So it's almost like a it's like a shocker in in the reading. So I'll probably pull a clarifying card for it. Now, what I sense as I look at it, it's underneath the star. And as I am fond of reminding you all, the star comes after the tower in tarot, and the tower, um, again, is a shocker of a card, and it's universal will having its way when we couldn't get out of our own way. It ends up being a blessing in disguise, but as it's happening, we don't feel as though it is. So it's interesting to me that the Three of Swords is under the star, and the star follows the tower. So or ooh, the energy that I'm picking up off of this is that this is energy as yet or experience as yet um, unsatisfied from the tower's fall. So I know we're not seeing the tower here. We're seeing everything that's come after the tower. But this is something that lingers. There's a misunderstanding on this card. And it can represent three individuals and um, there being a miscommunication of some of some sort you know one person was supposed to deliver a message to the other person they delivered that message but it was um, it wasn't the right information so it's caused a misunderstanding so that will get settled in some way What's nice here, this is the other part of it that I'm seeing, is that it has all this beautiful, loving, supportive energy to satisfy it, to make it right, to settle it. Um, another message I'm getting off of this is, in order to fully celebrate living the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, there is still some energy yet to be released. So while we are cheering the, these cards on and having the excitement for the manifestation that is unfolding for us in the now and all this enthusiasm, momentum, passion is here. These are great energies to heal up whatever's left over on that Three of Swords. So be mindful of this in your day. Just as we're going along reading these cards and then all of a sudden we turn over this Three of Swords and it's like you hear tires screeching in the street. It's kind of like that. So you could have a moment like that in your day today. And it's an invitation for you not only to look at this full in the face, whatever it is for you, uh, but also to respond rather than react and to engage all this beautiful, loving energy that is here on offer to you. Leverage that on this card. Also keep in mind that aces transform challenge cards. I did say that earlier, of course not knowing we were going to turn this one over, but there are two aces on the table, and there's just this one three of swords. So these two aces can absolutely transform the energy on that three, however it works out for you in this day. Let's see what comes next. Oh, here's a third ace. Can you even believe it? And it's the ace of swords, which is a beautiful one to have next to the three of swords. <sighs> amazing, amazing. So I think this is the second time now that we've had three aces come out in one reading. The Ace of Swords, you know, we have a message of good health, wholeness, well-being on the Ace of Wands. This feels physical. Intuitively, this feels physical to me. There's a message of good health 
on the Ace of Swords as well, and that feels mental. That feels like our intellect and our words. They're healthy, they're strong, they're direct, they're clear, they're true. They're passionate. They're emotional. Because we are so deeply connected to these beautiful dreams, goals, and prayers that are coming to life for us. And I really do feel that the Three of Swords is a reminder of where we've come from. What we left behind when we stepped through that that gateway on the Four of Wands. And it's it's truly a beautiful card because it's helped shape us. That's pretty sweet, actually. Now, this card also comes with a message of having cutting-edge ideas. And we have the Two of Cups. And in business, in partnerships, in new ventures, um, in your work, how you are of service, you may be having cutting-edge ideas and discovering ways to implement them when that ace shows up. And then we have... Oh, isn't that interesting? I had an extra card fall out. And I have a knight in the middle. And I always need another card when there's a knight because we have to know where he came from and where he's going to. That's pretty cool. And that happened in the weekly forecast, too. Okay, there's a lot to say about this knight. He's got a reputation as a player. <laughs> he's very... Um, He's very passionate. He's very potent. <laughs> He's lusty. Let's put it that way. Uh, not a bad thing. Um, and he's under the Ten of Cups. So all the best aspects of him are reflected in the Ten of Cups. So it's not about being played. Uh, it's about enjoying all those good things. <laughs> What I like about this deck and this knight in this deck is that he has a sight line. I don't know if you can see those dots coming. You know, they're at his eye level. So he is focused on his quest, on his mission. Let's see what he's staring at. The sun. <laughs> the future is so bright I gotta wear shades, folks. <laughs> You all know the sun, that's happiness. This is um, to the power of ten. Look at this, ten of cups. And the sun, just igniting all of that. Every good thing you can possibly say about the sun and the night is staring right at it and he's doing it. He's coming from, excuse me, he's coming from the Ace of Swords, which is a divine and cosmic gift of everlasting strength, clear thought, cutting edge ideas, inspiration, connection. I see connection between head and heart here. Beautiful. And then we have the sun. Happiest card of the whole tarot right there. This is about being a child of the universe, recognizing that. Everything beautiful under the light of the sun. Nothing hidden. And over here on the star, you know, here she is naked in the water. She's, um, she's comfortable with her... Well, if not comfortable, she is accepting of her vulnerability. She allows them. She has courage for them. And she's understanding that all of this is bigger than this ever was. Hmm, fantastic. I also feel like this card reminds us that we've been here, but now we're here over on the sun. Hmm. That's a beauty. I really like it. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not actually going to clarify this card. I thought it was going to be necessary, but it just isn't. There's so much goodness on this table that that one little three of swords does not have the power to undo us. It's simply a reminder to communicate clearly so there is no misunderstanding. Be really clear. Oh, also, my guides are saying um, 
that someone will tell you very clearly what they are thinking and feeling for you. So do not misunderstand. And if you do, ask the question. Ask for clarity. Be focused. Be direct. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Because this, this is where we want to be. Look, the sun is just the same on those two cards. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I am going to move to Angel Answers to preserve my voice because I can tell you it is a strain to keep talking right now. Um, <laughs> this is your opportunity to ask a question, so please do while I shuffle. This one just had to fling itself out of the deck at us. Abundance. Yes, this, this reading is loaded with it today of all kinds. But I really feel it's the abundance of love. It's the abundance of gifting from the universe. It's an abundance of gratitude here. Next card. Some of you asked yes. No, we get yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did not ask yes, no this time. <laughs> I typically do, too. Hmm, here we go. Big happy changes. This card keeps showing up lately. It's loving us. It's letting us know that we're receiving this because we're allowing this, because we prayed for this, and because we kept the faith for it, and here it is. Don't walk away from anything today misunderstanding what's been communicated. If you do ask the question, my guides are hammering that on me right now, so if you don't understand, ask. Okay. Um... Yes, I'm going to do one last card. It's going to be from our Notes from the Universe deck on Love and Connection. <laughs> I love that it's so orangey yellow like our beautiful sun and all this fire that's on the table. <laughs> all this love that's here. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself. Hmm. Let's think of this. Clarify, justify, explain oneself. Interesting. Okay. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Yes, that's why the Three of Swords is on the table. Deal with your stuff effectively. Engage these aces to help you do that. Call on your guides, angels, and ancestors. There are big happy changes here for all of us. Let's not mess it up with our insecurities from long ago. Let's love the insecurities, let's nurture them, let's thank them for showing up, and let's let them go. All right, everybody, have a beautiful Monday. I'm going to try not to talk for a while so I can recover my voice some. <laughs> and I'll be back very soon with Tuesday's reading. And be sure to check out the weekly forecast. It really is a stunner. It will be linked for you at the end of this reading. And... Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, you can do that in the description box below. And thank you all so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It's so deeply appreciated. Oh, and I almost forgot. I can't believe I almost forgot. I challenged you all to guess what the mystery card was um, that landed on the tarot table when I was away from the house. And I credit my my lullaby ghost with finding it for me and leaving it here. So, um, I know one of you guessed Nine of Cups, which was a great guess because that card had been showing up a ton for us 
But no, sadly, it was not the Knight of Cups, and someone else guessed the Knight of Swords, and indeed it was. <laughs> Actually, two people guessed the Knight of Swords. So, that dude, you know him, he's following me around a lot on the tarot, in the tarot cards. Okay, thanks so much for, for, for participating in the comments on that one. Uh, that was fun. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye for now. Peace.